Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison of the amp that I'm pulling or basically the electricity that my older unit was consuming and then I'm going to be uh, replacing this particular unit uh, with, my, with the variable speed um, outside condenser unit and also the inside air handler and I'm going to be showing the comparison on both units uh, with amp meter you know showing how much amp my older unit was pulling in and how much amp my new unit is pulling in so this is particular uh, this particular uh, unit that you see i'm using a clamp on amp meter and uh, i'm checking how much amp i'm pulling in on the outside condenser unit with uh, just the compressor running and the inside uh, uh, blower motor running so let's take a look so uh with that you know right now i'm connected my uh this is um, an amp meter we can call it clamp on amp meter you know which measures the amp uh, or the current flowing into this wire so this is not like a voltage reading you know so because if, if i measure voltage right here it's going to be 220 so this is going to be measuring how much amp am i drawing you know from my main line so this is the main power line coming in from the breaker which is this guy right here and uh this is my contactor and uh when i when i when i trigger the ac to turn on this contactor is going to pick up and uh that's what basically gonna show me the actual amount of current flowing from this wire going to the compressor and showing me the reading what it takes or um, you know, what it takes for it to run basically so I connected my meter it's uh, at zero amps right now and I'm going to turn it on so let me get my app okay so I think I'm ready to kick this baby on and let's go to cool Drop down my temperature. There you go. You can see about 16 amps. May have to slow down the video to see. So this is uh, what is running at when it's a study. You can see it's creeping up a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it running and this is a I would say 15 year old unit so compressor is not that efficient now I'm gonna compare this to the replacement one that I'm gonna be reinstalling so we'll see what difference or how much difference does really make you know and you can see how it's creeping up on the amp side I'm just going to do a quick check on the other one. Expect to that, pretty much the same. Make sure you're holding it straight so it's making a good contact. All right guys, so now we're gonna go inside and see how much amps am I really pulling at my air handler. And uh, I removed the front plates. I'm replacing the unit, so that's one of the main reasons that I'm just removing it. So here's the breaker that's coming through. And I'm just going to grab one of the yellow wires. I can measure the amps. I'm gonna put this on 40. So that kind of gives me an indication of how much amps this motor is taking it. Let's see, well, five amps. That's what it's taking. So, you know, this gives me an indication, and uh, now I have an idea that my older unit, this is how many amps it's taking, both at the air handler and also at the uh, outside unit on the condenser. And I will say we'll compare that with our new, new one. 
So guys, uh, look at the link below. You know, check out my new system that I'm going to be installing. It's a Linux XC20, and uh, I'll try to cover as much as I can on that video and show you some comparison of how much energy I really saved. You know, placing this 15-year-old unit with a brand new 2020 unit. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video, and don't forget to check out the links below. Thank you.